Hello viewers, I am your instructor Amna. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. As in my previous lecture, I have told about the sentence and its types. In my this lecture, I will explain about the sentence structure. As I told you earlier, a sentence is a group of words that convey a complete idea. In a sentence, we have a subject, verb, and an object. In a sentence, a subject is always the performer of the action, whereas the verb is an action itself, and in a sentence, an object is always the receiver of an action. So, subject, the performer, object, the receiver. Subject, the performer of an action. Object, the performer, the receiver of an action. And verb is the action itself. A sentence may have two parts, subject and predicate. As I told you, the subject in a sentence is always the performer of the action. And in a sentence, the part of the sentence that gives you information about the performer action is called predicate. The part of a sentence that gives you information about a subject action is called predicate. For example, Sarah is playing with a ball. In this sentence, who is the performer of the action? Sarah is the performer of the action. What is Sarah doing? She is playing with a ball. So in this sentence, playing with the ball is predicate. Or you can say, Playing is predicate. Predicate is the verb in a sentence or the part of the sentence that gives you information about the subject action. The mother is cooking meal. Mother is what? The performer of the action. So the mother is subject. Mother is cooking meal is predicate because here we are getting the information about the mother's action so the part of the sentence that gives information about the sub subject performance is called predicate now let's come about the object in a sentence we may have direct object and indirect object Direct object is an object that directly receives the action of a verb. Whereas, indirect object is an object that receives the action of the verb through a direct object. For example, Ali hit the ball. In this sentence, Ball is a direct object. Why? Because it directly receives the action of the verb that is hit. Ali is, Ali hit the ball. So ball is direct object. But if we say, Ali hit the ball to Sam. In this sentence, Sam is an indirect object. Ali hit the ball to Sam. As I told you, the indirect object always receives the action of the verb through direct object. So, Sam is receiving the ball through uh, Ali. So, in this sentence, Sam is indirect object. Direct object always gives the answer of what, whereas indirect object always gives the answer of to whom. For example, what did Sam kick? The ball, the direct object. 
to whom sam kicked to whom ali kicked the ball to sam indirect object so here is about the direct and indirect object she writes a letter what is she writing a letter a direct object she is writing a letter to her friend to whom she is writing a letter to her friend so in this sentence friend is an indirect object that receives the action of the verb through the direct object she gifted a necklace to her mother what she is gifted necklace direct direct object to whom she gifted the necklace her mother an indirect object so direct object that directly receive the action of the verb and indirect object that receive the action of the verb through direct object so this is something the basic structure of a sentence furthermore let's talk about the phrase and clause it also comes in a sentence structure let's have an introduction about a phrase a phrase is a group of closely related words without a subject or predicate so it's an incomplete sentence for example in the house on the floor thank you stand up sit down on the table in the room the drawer next to the table for example the uh, in a phrase in the house there is no subject there is no predicate so it's not giving a complete sense a complete idea so that's why we say a phrase is an incomplete sentence because it do not have subject and predicate on the floor in this phrase we do not have subject and predicate so it's an incomplete sentence now another part of the sentence is a clause a clause is a subject and verb combination or we can say a clause is a group of words that have subject and predicate for example sara is running this is a clause this is a simple sentence as well in a sentence we may have two kinds of clauses one is dependent clause and other one is dependent clause independent clause is a clause that stands on its own or that have its own meaning whereas dependent clause is a clause that do not stand on its own that depends upon the independent clause let's have an example as soon as i woke up i made the coffee this is a complete sentence but in this sentence we have two types of clauses one is independent clause and other one is dependent clause as soon as i woke up i made the coffee in this sentence if i say as soon as i woke up so as soon as i woke up so what this is this part of the sentence is having subject and predicate but this is not giving a complete sense but if i say i made the coffee i made the coffee this part of the sentence is existing on its own giving the complete meaning so in a sentence as soon as i woke up i made the coffee the part as soon as i woke up is dependent clause whereas i made the coffee is independent clause birds learn to fly when they are young in this part of the sentence if i say when they are young so what this part of the sentence is not giving the complete sense
But if I say birds learn to fly, a complete sentence giving a complete idea. So birds learn to fly when they are young. This part of the sentence. In this sentence, birds learn to fly is in independent clause, whereas when they are young is dependent clause. So we can say every sentence is a clause, but every clause is not a sentence. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.